Hi, this is Lady Lex UK, and this is a dreams tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to make uh, teleporters work, and I've created some magic portals that will make my character move around my level. So here is my portal, and as you can see over there is another platform with another portal on it. If I walk through my portal, I'm immediately transported to that other platform. And if I walk back through this, it's actually to get saying, do you want to teleport? So this has got a slightly different version of the same code. At this time, it requires a button press. Do I want to teleport? Yes. Uh, or you can just move out and it will stop. If I press the square here, nothing happens. Do I want to teleport? Yes. And there we go. I've teleported over here. It's very simple. There's very few gadgets involved in this. Now, uh, obviously, if you wanted to do this with level linking, uh, it's a different process. You would use doorways and doorway codes. Uh, but if you wanted to level link within your level, let's say you created a platformer and you had like different sections of, um, of a, a, a route uh, and you wanted them to be teleported from one place to another, uh, this is a way that you could do it. Right, so I'm going to put another portal in here and show you how easy it is to make. So I'm going to search Dreamverse for an archway. I've chosen this one here. Because my archway is a little bit big, so let's just pop that down there. Okay, here's our new archway and our new portal. Obviously, if you are making um, a teleporting area, it doesn't have to be an archway. It can be a, a, a platform. Uh, a plinth, uh, it can be a shimmering um, effect, it, it can be anything, literally anything at all can be a portal um, to another place in your level. Right, okay, so I've got my new portal. I'm going to place a tag in front and this is going to be where my player is going to spawn. You want this to be roughly at the height of the player's middle and I'm going to go into that and I'm going to name this tag portal 3. Okay. There we go, there's portal three, and that's all sorted. Um, now we want to swap this one round so that um, instead of going back to portal one, it's going to go to portal three. So we've just changed this port to portal three. There we go, sorted. That's that done. Right, let's collect, let's make a special effect. I'm doing this really quickly. You would obviously take your time and make something really nice. I'm just making something really quick. Like that. Um, if you press on the R3, you um, can see what is happening when you choose your effects. So I'm going to try a few of these. Actually, that's probably, that's quite good. That'll do. And glow. There we go. I've created a special effect. You just place that, Maybe make it a bit bigger, inside your portal area. There we go. And I've made a portal effect. You can also grab effects from the Dreamverse uh, to your liking, whatever you want to do. Right, press R3 again, I don't need that on. Right, now I'm going to get my microchip. I'm going to stamp that on my archway. And I'm going to grab a trigger zone. And just change that to a square. Um, we're going to place that inside our archway it's a bit wide so i'm gonna make 
make it a little bit smaller. There we go, try and get it in the archway. I find trying to put things in 3D space quite difficult. If anybody's got any tips on how to do that successfully without um, ending up putting it in weird places, um, I'd love to hear the tip because I always find that I'm putting it completely in the wrong place. Right, there we go, trigger zone. So we've got a trigger zone in our archway and now we want a teleporter. Now, this is quite important. Do not put the teleporter straight onto the microchip because then you cannot select your player. So we're going to put it outside the microchip. Um, right, we're going to teleport from portal 3 to portal 1. So we choose portal 1. By pressing down on the D-pad you go through all the tag names. There's portal 1, so that's sorted. We're going to match the target orientation. And this is the affected object. So we're going to take a wire. And it's not going to let me. I've got to come away. Right. I'll take a move out. Move towards your, your player first. Wire to player. Okay. So this is where... we've then moved the teleporter onto our microchip and press detected to the power now then there we go we're now at our new portal it is very very simple and i go through my portal and i end up at portal one again there we go. Very, very simple. Now let me just show you the the one with the text box. Now originally I did have a go at trying to um, use the dialogue box for this uh, because it's got built in um, uh, button presses and etc. But um, I couldn't get it to close down when it, you weren't in the trigger zone because it was waiting for an input so um, I had to resort uh, to using the text displayer instead. So that's why this looks the way it does. Right, so what we have here is we have the detect zone, trigger zone. Instead of going straight to the um, teleport, what it's doing is going into this AND gate. This AND gate is looking for a, a square button press and the detection before um, we will teleport. This is a remote controlled controller sensor. Just show you, there we go, that one. So you link the square to the AND gate, the text zone to the AND gate, and that to the teleport. And your text displayer, that's just linked straight in to the detect zone. So that will only display, make sure it's in the power and not the start text. Um, in, the, in the power socket, um, so when you're out of the trigger zone, uh, this won't display and you cannot teleport unless you've pressed the square button and you cannot teleport unless you're in the square in the trigger zone when you press that square button so that's why that works and there you go there is a very simple portal teleport thanks for watching hope that was useful and i'll catch you in your dreams <laughs>